Lorraine, you're on the air. Thank you, Dr. Wallach. Um, yes, I'm actually on behalf of my husband. Uh, we're in our 80s. He's 82, and he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2014. And we've been on your, uh, I ordered the Healthy Brain mm -hmm. and Heart Pack and okay. some uh, EFA and Glucogel mm -hmm. and since uh, the first of the year. Okay. And uh, our representative that helped us with this uh, mm -hmm. called last week, and he said, well, the problem is, Lorraine, is you're, not, you're underdosing, because I was going on the dosage that's on the bottle. Okay, well, that's for prevention. Okay. Well, what does your husband so anyway, weigh? He said what does your he husband weigh? On his weight by 100 pounds or whatever. Yeah, well, how so much does he weigh? He weighs two. How much does he weigh? 235 right now. Okay, Char, um, let's see here. What food group would uh, Lorraine's husband need to take, even at age years old, uh, and how much of it would you give to them? Um, he needs to be, uh, he needs a lot of eggs and butter and stuff to rebuild the myelin in his brain. Yeah, 235 pounds. You've seen a guy weighed 260 pounds, had terminal Parkinson's disease, and three months later is perfectly normal. With no medication, exactly. With no medication. Yeah, just uh, how many eggs did he eat a day? A lot. He said, <laughs> I remember he 20. talked about it, and he said he depleted the egg population in his town. Uh, Which was what? Moose Jaw, Canada. Moose Jaw, Canada, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, I think he was eating about 10 eggs a day, something like that. No, no, he was eating 25 eggs a day. But anyway, yeah, you need a lot of eggs to rebuild the myelin. Yeah, 235, yeah, I'd have, I'd have him take 18, 20 eggs a day. And they can be scrambled in butter, not oils or margarines. They could be soft poached with the soft yolks. They could be soft boiled with soft yolks. And that's the raw materials to rebuild the myelin of the brain, which goes away when you have um, these types of diseases, Parkinson's disease, MS, Ulgaric's disease, and Huntington's disease, and so on. And then what would you give this guy at 235 pounds as a supplement program? Well, he needs two healthy brain and heart packs. Okay, and, and what uh, else? Um, I would uh, give him. I would give him the uh, Ultimate Daily Classic, the Niacin Plus, and the Cardio Sticks also. Okay. What would you give him for raw materials to make the neurotransmitters? I would give him the uh, Synaptive and the Immortalium. Very good. Okay. And so that's where I go. And of course, you have to dose for body weight when you have a real serious problem. Um, you need a bigger hammer, I call it, when you have a serious problem that if you're going to take something for a preventive maintenance. And so the doses on the bottles are for preventive maintenance, okay? And so this is why you have to re read the books and listen, listen to the CDs, talk to people who've been there. Uh, and we're so glad you contacted us, Lorraine. There's two reasons, Char, why people will not see success with their longevity program for their health problems. What are those two situations? They are, they're not dosing properly for their weight because the packs are all set up per 100 pounds of body weight. Mm -hmm. So anybody that weighs 200 pounds needs two of the packs a month. The other, the other possibilities, they're not absorbing and or a combination of both. Yep, and so they need to be gluten-free. Your husband needs to be gluten-free. You need to be gluten-free, the dog, the cat, the bird, the fish, and so forth. You probably don't have a mother-in-law living with him if he's 82. And so um, this is imperative that all this stuff is followed and getting the A's, getting the supplement programs, and you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. You know, give it 30 days, you'll see something. You're like, I'm not sure, but by golly, he's doing better. Give it 60 days, 90 days, you're going to see something dramatic. We see so much good happening with Parkinson's disease, MS, Lou Gehrig's disease, Huntington's disease, um, all the dementias, Alzheimer's disease, Korsakoff syndrome, Bastard dementia, Wernicke Korsakoff, vitamin B12 deficiency dementia, and so on. And so uh, these are the sort of things that um, we've been doing for 40 years. We have a lot of experience with them. And so please do avail yourself of these um, options. And, uh, you know, keep checking with your doctor and say, hey, I'm doing pretty good here. What do you think? Maybe you'll get the doctor to use these programs for their patients, and then we'll be able to help more people. 